to my channel. Today I have a FabFitFun box to open and as well as a few add-ons um, that I purchased in addition to the box. For those of you who've never heard of FabFitFun, first of all, congratulations on watching your first ever YouTube video. I feel like they're everywhere. <laughs> They are a quarterly subscription box, so they come uh, once every season. They have a lot of uh, different products from a bunch of different categories, including like home stuff. They have some fashion items. They have beauty products, hair care products, skincare products, and fitness items. One of my favorite boxes to get, um, but they are also like on the pricier side of the subscription boxes that I have personally tried. However, the nice thing about them is that you can customize your box to a degree that is not really available for most of their boxes, even if you only are on the quarterly plan. I personally have an annual one, so I pay one lump sum once a year and I get to personalize more items than a seasonal person. However, uh, I was on the seasonal plan for a while and I still think that that was like really good in terms of the number of things you had control over. So a nice thing about FabFitFun as well is that when you get add-on items, they will ship at the same time as your box. So mine actually came in this huge, huge box, <laughs> which I can't really hold up very well because I did get my second dose of the vaccine fairly recently and my arm, this arm is still quite sore from it. So. I'm handling things a little bit gingerly today, now you know why. I actually skipped over the spring box this year because there was literally nothing in it that excited me. Um, you can see the add-on items that I purchased somewhere in the card or in the description. I did make a video about those. So let's take a look. The first thing that I got from add-ons is this, I don't know how to pronounce the brand, I think it's Gaim, G-A-I-A-M, it's their Restore Resistance Cord. So I'm not really somebody who works out very much, but I do have a couple of like resistance bands and stuff um, that I can use for in-home workouts if I ever get around to it. And this one looked like a good option because it apparently has a door anchor. Now I did take this out of the box, which is why it's like bursting out because I couldn't get it to fit back in. It turns out that the, the door anchor is literally like there's like a plastic bead in here and it's just sewn around it so i guess you slide it between the door and the door jam or under the door and then this just like it it pulls against that but it keeps it in place and then you know of course it has your standard handles and then the the stretchy tubing and this one's supposed to be medium resistance so i bought it because the one that i have is like a uh, lesser resistance and i was finding that it was just like a little bit too easy now i don't know if you can see um behind me. Uh, I live in a fairly old house, so all of the doors are like thick wood, but they're also not, what's the word? They don't latch like really like perfectly anymore. Like this one, if I shut my bedroom door and I latch it fully, sometimes like the handle gets really loose and I can't open it again. So I'm a little worried about using this in the house because I don't know how sturdy the doors are will stand up to this. Like, am I going to pull on it? And then the door is just going to like swing right open and this is going to come hit me in the face. So I might not end up using it for that purpose, but I am still pretty excited to get this. And I think it was fairly inexpensive, like maybe $8. So it was a nice add-on. Also from the add-on sale, I bought this Illume Gardenia and Coconut Milk candle. So this is a three wick candle. Um, I didn't realize it was going to be quite this big. <laughs> I bought it thinking like, oh yeah, it's like a, you know, a medium candle. So this is one of the largest ones I have now, um, and I'll be honest with you, if you're just smelling, obviously I haven't lit it yet, but if you're just smelling it um, without being lit, it's quite strong. However, it's all gardenia, and I, I'm not picking up any coconut milk. So hopefully once I light it, those fragrances will kind of like balance each other out, but coconut is one of my favorite scents, and so uh, that was kind of what drew me to it. Like, not that I'm unhappy with the gardenia scent like it's a very nice floral it's very fresh but and the, the packaging is also like really pretty it comes in a metal tin obviously but i was hoping to get a little bit more of the second scent as well as the gardenia i don't know where to put this down another item in here um when you are making your selections for the individual items in the box sometimes they also have the option for you to buy more than one. So it'll cost a little bit extra, of course. And depending on the category, it might cost more. Like if it's one of like the bigger ticket items, it's like I think $15 or $12 to add on one of those. Once you get down towards the end, like items number four and five, it's like five bucks to add on. So I bought, and this is gonna be a gift. So uh, to my sister, Claire, who probably is not watching this. If you are watching, look away. So my, my sister's getting married next summer. And she and her husband-to-be are planning their future kitchen to have some lemon themes in the decorations. So I saw this. It's just like a melamine like serving tray. It's obviously not very big. You can put a couple drinks on there or something, or if you're serving snacks. I just thought this was so 
cute and they bought like a um a holder for like kitchen utensils like cooking utensils and um it was, looks very similar so i thought that this would go together really nicely i think my family's really funny because we like to just pick a fruit and like that's the theme of our kitchen like when i was growing up my mom had a strawberry themed kitchen like we had wallpaper with like strawberry vines on it and she has like these canisters they've since like renovated the kitchen so it doesn't really quite look like this anymore but there are still accents that are very much strawberry themed in there when i get my own place i would really love to have a kitchen themed around pineapples and um claire is apparently going with lemons so <laughs> So this was, I think, $5 for me to add on. It was going to be one of the choice items, but I wanted something else in that category as well. So there's one more thing in here. There's actually, well, it's a bundle of a couple of things, but I'm going to get to that at the end because this is actually like a surprise. I don't remember the reason for it, but I haven't actually looked at it yet. So I want to see what that is later on. Okay, so contained inside this enormous cardboard box, uh, there was a slightly smaller cardboard box. I'm not lifting this up because, again, my arm is quite sore, but it's really cute. It's got um, a couple of people poolside. There's umbrellas, there's towels, there's, like, palm trees. Um, I think it's adorable and, like, perfect for summer. And it's huge. Now, okay, a bone to pick <laughs> with FabFitFun. So they used to have, like, tissue paper, like, gift wrap tissue paper around all of the items. And then they, you know, decided they were going to try to be a little bit more eco-friendly. Friendly, which I can respect. However, their substitute for that was to put like little bitty brown, like basically it's Easter grass, but brown in here. I believe this is probably recycled. However, this is so messy. It gets everywhere. Like it's not like a single piece of like, you know, they even have this extra stuff on top, which I've seen this more and more um, lately. Like it's like just like crinkled paper. So you set that on top and it kind of provides a cushion. This is great. I can pick this up. This is one piece. I can then toss it aside. It goes in the garbage like that. I opened this box on my bed yesterday and I didn't even take anything out of it. I just looked at it. And then when I was going to bed, there was like little bits of the, the crinkly grass like in my sheets. I don't like it. <laughs> take it away. Get rid of it. Moving into the box itself. Oh, there's little like ice cream cones on the inside. Oh, this is really cute. So in the top, um, there's always like this little, that's upside down, there's always this little booklet or magazine. There's some information about whatever charity they're partnering with this season to like give money to. It'll also give you the information about every single item that's in the box, as well as the variations um, that you could have potentially gotten. And then they also do this, which I also think is really silly. So uh, HelloFresh is like a meal kit that I have tried actually. If you haven't tried it before, you can get a discount like for your first box. However, every single time, yeah, only valid for US customers. You just mailed a box to Canada. Like, you knew where this was going, <laughs> and yet, you're just gonna send me this trash. It's literally just garbage. It's going bye-bye. Well, um, so funny enough, I did make all my picks for this box, like, a month or two ago, and I had kind of forgotten what some of them would be, so I did open it up before filming, obviously, just to refresh my memory, but I'm really excited to see the stuff that I got. So the first item here, uh, I think this is the biggest item in the box, this is a uh, beach blanket, or not a beach blanket, <laughs> it's just gonna be stuff all over the floor by the end of the video. So the first item here is this picnic blanket. Um, this is from the brand Society6, and it's like it rolls up. There's actually some Velcro on it here. There's a handle so you can carry it. It feels really nice. Like it's a pretty soft kind of cotton material, uh, and I'm obviously not going to stretch it all the way out, but it says it's water resistant. It's supposed to be pretty big. Yeah, and then the inside is kind of this like... Um, it kind of feels like a rain jacket. So it's, yeah, it's clearly water resistant. I was assuming that's the side you would put down on the grass. And it's really pretty. Like, I love the pink and the orange. Like, this reminds me of a lot of, like, the toys I had when I was little. Like, my Barbie sets. I can't roll it back up. There we go. Okay. All right. So there's that. This is very cute. I don't know what the uh, regular retail price would be. It's probably because I threw the guide all the way over there. But I will put it on the screen and I will tally up the value at the very end of the video. Next is this from the brand Millie. It's their traveling jewelry case. Now, when I picked this one, I wasn't thinking so much for travel because A, I don't travel that much even in non-pandemic times. B, uh, when I do travel, I'm not really like too picky about taking a bunch of jewelry. And C, uh, I don't currently have a place to store 
jewelry um, right now. It's actually in a shoebox over there, which is very classy. <laughs> so I'll, I'll hold it up. You can see it's, the outside is sort of like a, a rubberized um, material. It's very like cushy. So it's very well protected, obviously. There's a little mirror in here. That's very cute. And then there's six little compartments in the bottom. It's lined with sort of this like linen feeling fabric. And then there's, there's these little inserts for a couple of rings here. And then there's a pull tab at the top. So it flips down and then you can put like your necklaces or your bracelets or if you have like any chains or something in this little pouch in the top half. So I think that's really nice. I didn't know how big it was when I ordered it. Um, it's a little on the small side, but it's nicely compact. Like I can see if you were using this for travel, obviously that would be really helpful. It's this lovely like zebra print, but it's a kind of a gray, blue and white. Um, which I think is really cute as well. So I'm very happy to get that. Next up uh, is from the brand AG Hair Care. It's their Recoil Curl Activator. Now, I picked this not in terms of, oh, I'm really excited to get that, but kind of in terms of, eh, like, I guess, I guess I'll take this one. I don't really like anything else in this category. So of all the things in the box, I think I'm least excited about this. Obviously, I have curly hair. Um, this is like one shower plus one night of sleeping with my hair in a ponytail level texture. But I am actually like pretty content with my current hair care routine. So I don't know that I necessarily want to introduce like a new step or a new um, product. I mean, maybe I'll try it once or twice and just see how it works. Like if it does something like really amazing, then, you know, I'll give it a shot. Um, but I have like a product that I'm quite content to use just on its own. However, I do have another sister whose hair is even curlier than mine, so maybe um, she might find some use in this. I mean, I don't really know what she has in the way of hair care products. I do like that it's a pretty nice big tube. That's pretty handy to have. This is probably going to last a fair bit, even for somebody with long hair like me or my sister. And the Easter grass is starting to come into play here. Okay, so this next thing is a set of two puzzle books. Now, I was thinking um, when I saw this was, oh my goodness, those were my jam when I was a kid. <laughs> we used to go on a lot of car rides. My family was very into camping, so we'd be like driving all across the province to go camping. And when you're a child, uh, car rides can be like really boring, obviously. Now, I did a lot of reading. I'm one of those people who can read in a car. It doesn't make me sick, so I would just mostly do that. But my parents would also get these things that had, like they were called boredom busters, and they would have like crosswords and like word puzzles and all these different things and that's exactly what these are and I saw this and they're like for adults these are not for children they made me laugh and made me very happy and so I thought this would be really cute to have like if I was going on a road trip at some point in the hopefully not too distant future or if I was you know up at the cottage and just looking for something to do these would be really fun and so yeah so there's like a word jumble in here I just saw a uh, like a word search looks like there's some coloring like that's really cute I mean I have adult coloring books as well but I like that there's some variety in this and it's kind of old school like a lot of people are like oh you could do a crossword on a computer but there's something really satisfying about like taking pen to paper and filling it in. Like I've literally bought books of crossword puzzles just for that. I've literally like dug through a stack of newspapers just to pull out all the crossword puzzles. So this is very much up my alley. And I really liked that uh, something kind of creative and fun like this was an option to put in your FabFitFun box. Next up is like a bundle of three products. Now they just started doing this new thing. There used to be like a couple of items at the very end of the box that FabFitFun would just pick for you, which honestly was kind of fun because I do like having the element of surprise. However, sometimes they were like small things that you were just kind of like, eh, it's a throwaway. So what they started doing now, um, and this is the first box with this, is They've grouped some small items together into a set of three and you pick one of the sets. Now, unfortunately, you can't pick all three items in a set and there aren't sets with like every possible combination of items. So I did kind of have to go with two items that I wanted and one I didn't really care about, but I'm happy with two of the three and I'll just give the third one away to somebody. So to start off with, there is this large green device, <laughs> which is... A lemon juicer. Well, it's a citrus squeezer. I'm sorry. It's all kinds of citrus fruits. We don't discriminate in this household. I do a lot of cooking with, like I said, like the HelloFresh recipes. They're always like, juice a lemon. And I'm like, do I have to? It's so messy. So having one of these, my parents have one as well, is really cool. It's really helpful. Like it just opens up. 
you cut the lemon in half, you stick it in there, you squeeze this down over it, and then the juice just comes at the bottom and you just hold it over like the glass or the bowl or the pot or wherever you need it to go. My one concern is this is a little big. Like if you get a lime or something that's quite small, it's not really going to work quite as well. And uh, it looks like it would be pretty easy to clean. It's just a hard plastic and that's going to be a handy kitchen tool to have. Next up, this made me chuckle because in the spring when I bought all those add-ons, one of the add-ons was a silicone pineapple ice cube tray. <laughs> Uh, it, it's a different one. That one was yellow. This one is teal and I think it's shaped a little bit differently, but I was like, oh, okay, well now I'm going to have two, but I, so I didn't need to buy the other one, but this is so freaking cute. I've never had a silicone ice cube tray before. It's my understanding that because it's so flexible, like they're very easy to pop out and then the individual ice cubes will be shaped like pineapples. And I just can't think of, of anything quirkier or more fun, you know, to put in like your summer beverages. And the brand is called Blush. Yeah, there's the second item. The third one, which I didn't really care about, uh, is from Seraphine Botanicals. It's their Fruit Butter Lip Mask. And I just, I have so many freaking lip masks that I just never think I'm going to get through all of them. So I will pass this along to somebody else. I will take it out of the box. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah. So I, I have like a, I think it's a lip butter. Is it a lip mask? I got one from Seraphine actually, like in a boxy charm box a couple of months ago oh there it is it's a glow lip mask this one's just a lip mask <laughs> so the one that i have sounds a little fancier this one's just fruit butter yeah the packages are practically the same in terms of the tube the box is roughly the same size they are cruelty free and vegan so maybe i'll give this to my vegan friend the final item in here which i also chose for myself i think this was the same category as that uh lemon serving tray is from mented cosmetic it's a lipstick i bought the shade peachy keen now mented cosmetics is a brand that i only started hearing about fairly recently so i don't know how long they've been around exactly they are black owned i believe female owned and uh, the word mented is short for pigmented which means you know that all their products are supposed to show up on like dark skin tones which i think is fabulous i think like that's a, obviously a brand that i really want to support and i had heard good things about their quality so i was really interested to try this there were three shades available i think one was like a red and one was like a darker kind of like plum shade the one i chose is called peachy keen and it's really pretty like i'm not going to put it on right now because i do have other lipstick on and i want to like actually test the formula with bare lips but i will do a quick swatch i was afraid it was gonna look super orange but it doesn't which is awesome <laughs> it's kind of like a terracotta nude shade like i, I it's obviously like very warm um it's oh, it smells kind of nice it went on pretty smoothly doesn't feel like it's pulling or tugging and feels like that would be quite comfortable to wear obviously very pigmented not really sheer at all and that's just one quick swipe across the hand. So I'm really excited to try that out as well. Yeah, so those are all the items I chose. My room is now an enormous mess because I've just been chucking things all over the place to get them out of my way. Give me one second and we will take a look at the surprise bundle. Okay, so the last thing um, that was contained in the bigger box is this little uh, bundle of products here. I got an email a while ago saying like, thank you for being a member and we want to send you like a surprise with your next box. I can't remember what exactly they're commemorating. Oh, this Beck has a drawstring. She's very fancy. Oh no. I've made it tighter somehow. Oh, here we go. Happy anniversary. So it's a curated gift, a few products that I love as a gesture of how much you are appreciated. Katie Ann Echeverria of Rosen Kitchens, uh, who is the co-founder and editor-in-chief of FabFitFun. So thank you. Um, I love when brands do that. They're like, here's some free stuff. All right, so first and foremost, uh, there's this Cuccio Somatology Yoga Calm and Clean uh, Epsom Salt Hand and Body Wash. I've seen this before. Actually, my very first box, I think it was winter 2019, if I'm not mistaken. This was one of the items that you couldn't pick, like that they picked for you. And I gave this away to the aunt that I currently live with. And she said it was really, really nice. And I got a little bit jealous that I never got to try it. So now I get more and now we can both use it. Oh, this is pretty. Is it a ne It is a necklace. Okay. Okay, so this is from the Giving Keys. It's a little teensy key on a silver chain here. It is a necklace and they say uh, it's building homelessness through employment. So this is obviously like a charitable brand. That is so cute. They support jobs for people transitioning out of homelessness and there, oh, there's a word on it. Okay, I was a little confused by the back. It says believe. That's adorable. I like that. That'll be nice like for layering with other necklaces. I like little dainty um, pendants like that. Okay, so this one uh, is from Unique Kim. This is kind of plushy. What is this? 
oh, that's not a description. That's literally just the child safety warning. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's not for children. Okay. Nope. That's the plastic bag. It's got this really cute pink kind of floral pattern on it. And I still don't know what it is. Oh, I see what this is. Okay. Oh my God. When I was growing up, my parents had a bunch of these and I thought they were like a sign of like fancy, fancy living. I, when I travel, basically put all my toiletries in like a big plastic Ziploc or like, you know, just maybe like I have like one or two pouches with zippers because they came with my suitcase, like, but they're pretty small and they're just like one big pouch. Oh my God. This is really, really fancy. So not only is it like pretty on the outside, but it's stuffed with paper. <laughs> There's a little hook here. So you could hang that on like a door. Or like a handle of some kind and then it's like got there's a, a thin compartment here and then these two fatter compartments so you can put like all your toiletries in it how cool is that that's so nice like god forbid we ever get traveling again but uh i mean even just for keeping myself organized now because like the bathroom in the house is is not the biggest okay there's no counter space really to speak of it's kind of one of those pedestal sinks and so uh you know when i'm washing my face or whatever i i do just kind of carry the products back and forth which i don't mind it's not a huge inconvenience like it's just down the stairs it's like and i have space to to lay it all out up here i have drawers and stuff but you know um if i threw it all in this i could just pick up the one pouch or carry it down there or you know for somebody who's living in like a dormitory uh at university i was lucky enough to always live in like a residence that had a bathroom like in your suite um but for people who have shared bathrooms like this is fantastic this is such a cool idea this is very nice it's very cute and i love getting free stuff <laughs> so as you can tell um that put me in a pretty good mood today I hope your day is going well. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you want to join FabFitFun, I'll put a link down below. It's going to be my special link, so I think it'll give you a discount, but it would also give me some money off of my next box as well. If you're not into that and you don't want me to get uh, a discount, you can just sign up at the FabFitFun website. I really love this box. I think it's so exciting. Everything is always so pretty. Everything is always so uh, kind of refreshing and just fun can't wait to see what's in the fall one i think fall and winter are my favorite because like i'm such like a cozy kind of person i love sweaters i love tea i love all those fun things so i'm really excited to see those but for now i'm just going to enjoy the stuff in the summer box thanks again for watching if you feel like subscribing please do so and um i will see you in the next video bye